Welcome, this is Lynn Brizzy Page Builder with JP and today we will be looking at a feature that has been released for a while called Dynamic Content and the first of those features are the single posts. Before we get into that, I had already made a video on this which we had shared on the Brizzy Forum for feedback due to a few bugs that I had discovered a few of us had run into. There are still a few of them present. I'll show them to you today so you can understand the current limitations of what we are facing with dynamic content, but something that the Brizzy guys are working very hard on to fix. Before we go into the dynamic content, for those who are still very new to it, the question may arise, do you need dynamic content? Let me explain to you the difference as to why you may be inclined to use it. WordPress started long ago as a blogging website. So the whole point of WordPress from the beginning was posts. People were posting their posts and they were blogging online. And you would go into WordPress and you would write your post. Like you can see here, I've got four of them. And these are called single posts, I, individual posts, right? So you can see I've got two English ones here and then we have a Japanese and over here, Siberian text. Cyrillian, I think, and these were all done with randomtextgenerator.com. So I have no idea what they say. Now, if I want to view this one furniture to make you relax, I can control click on view in Chrome and it will open this post. And then I can see my post over here and I have a featured image. I have a title. I have some metadata published by me on September 2. And then I have a sidebar here with the categories the tags, and also recent news. Under it, you have your social icons, your sharing icons, and then you also have a comment section. This is very standard for your post. If you go to the bottom, these are related posts. They are often ones that are same categories. They will appear here. Now, here is our little uh, thing that you have to understand. This is a single post, but how can you have all your posts appear on one page? And that is regulated by WordPress. WordPress does this and we use a very interesting name for it. And you just have to get used to these terminologies. We call it a post archive. And that is the page that if you are on the home page and you see a news section or a post or a blog section and you click on that one, it's going to give you a page with all your posts combined like this. So I have my first post here, then the second one, the third and the fourth, and they go from the latest date to the oldest one here at the bottom. So if I were to add a fifth post, it will come here at the top and all of them will move down. So this is a collection page. It is a display page of all your posts and we call it the post archive page. Now you can see this post archive page is quite unique. There is this header up here with the news, which is the page title. And then we have the post here with the featured image on the left. And then we have the category. We have the title. We have some of the content text and then a read more over here. And then we have the metadata under here. This is determined by the theme. And it's quite important that you understand this because at the beginning, way back in 2003, when WordPress started, all the posts from everyone looked exactly the same. And later on, the guy said, wait a minute, let's give people some styling option to make their website look special. And that is how themes came into existence. And that is why themes were and still are so popular. Themes control how your website looks. In recent year, page builders came in and page builders took over that function for pages. But the theme still determines a lot how your post archive page, this one, and your single post, this one, displays and looks. Eventually, of course, page builder makers started saying, what can we do to give our users more flexibility? For example, here I have my single post. I have the image up here and then it looks like this. Is it possible that I can develop something so that my users can determine by themselves how they want their single post to display. And that's how dynamic content came into existence, more or less. So now I'm sitting here and uh, I want to change this single post. 
The first thing you have to know is at this moment, you can only change the single post. You cannot change the archive page. The archive page currently is still dependent on your theme. So if you are using Ocean WP, Generate, Press, Customify, Astra, whatever, those themes will determine how this page will look. I think I'm currently using Hestia, one of the themes on madewithbrizzy.com recommended. So I just use this one because it looks actually so different. This page currently, I cannot design in dynamic content. It's coming later, but at this moment, you are still dependent on your theme. But this page here, the single post, this one I can go and create. And we have to do that by using a template. Now, a template is like a, a layout standard. It is something that you design and it will always display like that. And you will find your templates under the Brizzy icon here and you will see templates. It's empty here now. So now we have to create a layout style, how we want our single posts to di display. We need a new template for that. So we click here on add new. And then because I'm going to use it for single posts, I'm just going to call it single posts because that will help me remember it. The next thing you have to do is you have to tell Brizzy and you have to tell this template, hey, every time I make a post, a single post, I want you to use this template. I want you to use this layout. And you do that by giving it a condition. You, big words, you know, these words can become so confusing. All you are doing is you are instructing Brizzy, use this template every time I make a single post. That's the condition. And actually, by default, it says include all the posts for all the posts. If I click here on all you're going to see, here are my four posts. But I want this template to apply to all of them. So I'm just going to leave it on all. And it's important you do the next. You have to click on it and say add. Do not do what I did and just go ahead because you're going to be so confused. Make sure you see delete. Once you see the delete, you know that it has been added. And now you go and publish this template. But you still need to design your template. And of course, we're going to do that with our good friend Brzee. Now, let's go ahead and think, mm, how do I want my single post page to look? For example, here we currently have an image on this side. I don't want it on this side. I want it on this side. I want it on the right. But I like this. I want this on the left. So I'm going to have two columns. Let's drag in a blank block. I've got two columns. And what I'm going to do is on the right side, I want to put my featured image. So I need an image element for that. Drag it in. Click on it. Click on the image. And now you see these little three disks here. Click on it and then you will see it says featured image. And now you click on that. What it will do now is for your single post, when it displays, it will use this image up here, which is your featured image and put it over here. And you can, you can go ahead, you can put, you can do stuff to it. For example, you can give it a shadow, right? Let's give it a shadow there at the bottom, make it a little bit bigger. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's make it extreme so you can see it apply later. Doing that. Okay. Very extreme. Right. Uh, the only downside is at the moment we cannot see anything here. You have to imagine it. It's a feature that Brizzy will also add in the future that we can view these things as we are doing it so we can have some kind of idea of what is going on here. Next, I want to bring in my header, which is my post title. I'm going to just drag in a text element for that. And under that, I want to add my metadata, which is this, the author and the time. And oops, okay, let's undo that. Control Z, text there. And then under that, I want to bring in the content. And the content is the entire section of the post up to here. This is your content section. And we need a text element for that. Now, how do we tell this one to be the header? First, control all, control A, delete, and then you use the hash. You can say hash, but the correct shortcut for the keyboard is Shift 3. Doesn't matter which keyboard you use, as long as you just use Shift and 3, you will get into your dynamic drop down list. It's the header, it's the title, so it's the post title. I click on that. 
This one I want to say it was written by me, written by, and then shift three. I am the author, author name. And I want to say when I wrote it on the, then hash, shift three, post date, semicolon. And I want to say the time, shift three, to the time, post time. There we go. And then this one, control all, control A, delete it, and then add the content. Again, shift three, and do, 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 post content. There we go. Let's just look at it as it is at this moment. I'm going to say updated. So what we do now is we go to our single post and we refresh it because we have told Brizzy to make our template. And you can see here it is. Look at that. Ah, there's my shadow. Woohoo! Got my nice shadow. And this looks boring, right? This is where you can go in now and you can style it. You can give it the same fonts, the same colors, the same layout as all your other pages. And this is why people love it so much. So for example, this post title, let's make it a heading one. Let's give it some color, light blue. And this meta text, let's make um, subtitle. Let's make it italics. And let's give it a funky color like pink. There we go, right? Nice, nice, nice. Let's say, for example, we want to give this whole thing a background image. We go to our column image. Let's choose an image over here. Let's give it a, um, what do you call this, overlay, white with a little bit reduced opacity. Very nice, very nice. And let's update it. So let's go look at what happened now on our single post. Refresh it. Ah, it's looking so good, so good. You see? And you can do really funky things. I like that background. Um, let's give it a very strange dancing script font over here. Let's make this post ridiculously big. The size, which you have to click, 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 click. And then update it again. And then let's have a look over here. Refresh. You see, we made it nice and big and nice dancing script over here. Now you can style the post the way you want it. You still have to go write the post in the WordPress editor. That's going to be a standard. But after that, how it is displayed, you have control. However, there is one thing that you have to be aware of at this moment, and that is that the current dynamic content has a little bit of problem bringing in the content. Now you see the content is this part I mentioned over here. This is not bad. It displays correctly, except that the font does not. This is a serif font. You know, it's got all this little curly stuff there. I'm going to show you just if I go here and I give it uh, something like Open Sans, and I'm going to make it big. Let's make it huge, and I give it a color as well. Let's make it this blue. And I say Update. What you would expect is that all of this will now be that blue and that big. And when I refresh it, nothing happens. And there's a reason at this moment I figured out why nothing happens. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to make a new post and I'll show you why nothing happens. And I'm just going to call this T1 for test one. And I'm going to make call this heading one. Hitting one, and then let's put some text in from random text generator. And uh, ooh, sorry, I want to listen to music. Uh, paste that there, and I'm going to say publish. That's all I'm going to do. And I, you have to note though that everything here, including the heading, is on paragraph. Now, if I go to my website and I refresh it, this one will now be the top one. Oh, I didn't put a featured image. Let's add a featured image. Set featured image, and let's choose this one. Okay, set featured image. Right. Do it right. All right, and then we go and update our archive page again over here. Good. So here we've got it. Our featured image is test one and everything here. This is our archive page, which is currently controlled by the theme. We don't have any control over the styling. But look what happens if I click on the title. Control click, and I open the single post. Now, you say, but JP, what's going on now? We can see, look at that. We can see all that styling, the blue and everything. So nothing's wrong, right? 
Okay, let's go back to that single post. And now I'm going to click on heading one and I'm going to change it to heading two here. I'm giving it my styling of H2 and I'm going to say update. And now when you go back to that single post in Brizzy, let's just wait for that update to happen eventually. Okay, this is what happens with hotel internet. There we go, right? It should have updated. Let's just go make sure. No, it didn't. We do it again. Shame on you. This backup of this post is okay. There, now it's been done. Remember what I've done now. This is paragraph styling. This is a heading two styling. So let's go back and I'm going to refresh it and you'll see what happens. It defaults all the way back to the serif font. And this is a glitch. It's a bug that currently exists, which is a reason why I still cannot use it because I make use of heading styling. So be aware of it that if you're going to use heading stylings like this, like this, and it doesn't matter which one you use, the moment you have a different heading styling in here than your paragraph, the Brizzy dynamic content is going to display it like this and not the way that you had set the styling in the template. This will be fixed, but be aware of this currently. And voila, that is it. That is the dynamic content. It's a good start. There's a lot of changes that still has to come and there's still a lot of work that has to be done, but it is looking really good. There are some page builders out there that have been around for years. They still haven't introduced this and people are screaming for it. So let's hope in during this beta testing phase that we can fix all these little glitches. And then by Christmas, we can play around on Christmas morning like this is the best gift ever right so I hope to have another one out tomorrow it depends on my flying time and where I am in the world and until then play around and enjoy it